Hi there, welcome everyone to my channel. My name is Hashemi. So chances are if you're building your reading list or reading journal in Notion, you also probably have your Goodreads account where you have already added all of your books there in the Goodreads shelves and you're looking for a way to transfer all of those books to Notion. Now if you haven't already figured it out yet, I'm here to tell you how easy it can be done. So without further ado, let's just jump into it. Right, there's two way or two scenario where you can go about it. So first scenario is where you have totally blank table or totally blank database to work with. That is actually pretty simple and pretty straightforward. But the second scenario is where you already have your existing database in Notion and you wanted to merge them together. Now that would that would require a bit of uh, effort for that. So let's go first with the first scenario. Okay, so the first step here is you need to prepare your CSV first from Goodreads. So you go to Goodreads website and go to My Books menu. So on the left side, you go to Tools and Import and Export. Click on Export Library. And once you're done, you can download it. Now you can look into this CSV file by using any spreadsheet software, for example, like Excel, Microsoft Excel, or here I'm using Google Sheet. So I have already here my CSV that I've downloaded from Goodreads. So this is all the data that I got from Goodreads database actually. Now, what you need to do is just to import this CSV to Notion. Now you can either remove all the column that you don't need in the CSV itself, or you can do it later in Notion. So for the first scenario, it's just simple because you have a, you have a blank table, you have the blank database. So what you need to do is just create a table, uh, I'll pick a full page here, so you just need to merge with CSV and then you pick that uh, Goodreads CSV and voila, it's done. That's basically how it is. It's simple, it's very really straightforward and you already have all of your books in this table with the column that are coming from the Goodreads CSV. Now for the second scenario, it's practically the same way as what I just did on the first scenario. But here you just need to do some slight modification to the CSV that you have downloaded from Goodreads. So here for example, I have my uh, table or database that I've already set up in my Notion. So this is actually taken from my own reading journal in Notion. So I've already set up all the columns, name and all that. Now what you need to do is just to make sure that the column name in the CSV is actually matched with the one that you have already created. So for example here, I have author name oppo as opposed to the one that from Goodreads, which is called the author. So what you need to do here is just to rename this as author names to match the column that you already created. So as simple as that. Uh, the other thing is like, for example, here I have a status which in Goodreads, actually, they don't have a status. They have something called uh, exclusive bookshelf. Oh, I already renamed it. So it was actually ex exclusive shelf. So you can just rename it status so that it will uh, it will match to this column when you're merging it. The other thing that actually I realized, uh, Notion is quite smart already when when you're merging it with CSV. So here I have like a column name title here. I don't have a title in my existing one, but I have book name. Now, Notion is already smart enough. When you merge it, it will actually populate this as the book name because this book name is actually a title of the page because this is uh, theoretically a page. So that's actually pretty uh, nice. So if I download it, download this CSV, and if I try to import that to here to merge this with the CSV that I just download, it will work the same way as what we did in the first scenario. And that's it, voila. So again, it's the same thing. If you don't wanna uh, use the use some of the col uh, column that are in the in this CSV from Goodreads, you can either remove it from the CSV or you can even remove it in the Notion itself after you merge it. And that's pretty much about it, how you can import your Goodreads to Notion. 
as I said, it's pretty simple. It's pretty straightforward and quick. So I hope it's clear. Uh, if you have any question or trouble, just let it let me know in the comment section. Maybe I will able to help you later on. So I hope this quick tutorial video is gonna be useful for you if you like this video please click thumbs up if you want to support this channel please consider to subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye